What's going on guys? It's Connor here and I've got a pretty nice little treat here. I think the first 10 seconds about sums it up. That was a spray, a thermback grenade, got a kill with it, and this is a nice little streak right here. This is something of beauty. Um, I, I was playing around on Nuketown and just trying to get cool clips where I get a lot of kills and well I was using three, four, eight, so no lethal kill streaks, just counter spy plane, spy plane and blackbird. And like <laughs> You're watching this right now. I mean, I have a Blackbird in the first 20 seconds of the game. This was so much fun. I mean, I was just got I just got so many streaks. I really couldn't die, and I just think it's a really entertaining gameplay. Unfortunately, I don't show all of it here, but I, I split up into, into little parts so you can get the whole entire picture. And, I mean, it was really cool. It was really sick. And, well, kind of concerning Nuketown 24-7, because I, I hope you guys know that's what's up right now, at least for Xbox. Um... We decided that we're going to try to make a little Nuketown montage. I think that'd be kind of cool. A lot of multi-kills, some cool stuff here and there. And I think everybody will enjoy that. So at, at the end of the Sunday, me and my two friends that helped me with the last montage are going to help me with the next one. So look forward to that. Um, Alright, and then other other little piece is that tonight, and probably tomorrow night, I but especially tonight, I can play pretty late. I would love to see all of you guys on Xbox and I'll try to get a nice little party of six so starting about at like nine o'clock or ten o'clock tonight we'll just pick it up and play as late as you want and that'll be really sick and I'm sure everybody will have fun with that and that's just gonna be I have family over so I can't do it earlier so sorry so ten o'clock or nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time will be the time to get on Xbox and have a good time um, but yeah, I mean, I, I kind of left you guys in the dark about the X Jaws challenge. I mean, I had, nobody's heard who won it yet, and I don't know. I don't know if anybody does know who won it. But I mean, look at this streak right here. This is this is so sick. This was the most fun game I played in Black Ops in a while. Like there was just constant action, constant craziness everywhere I turned. There was somebody spawning, and I mean, if you if you ever really bored and you're like, oh, another chopper gunner or whatever, this is a fun set of kill streaks to use. At the end of the game, by the end of the game, I have actually like five blackbirds I've gotten in the game which is a hell of a lot of blackbirds if you ask me but I just felt like I was going from one blackbird to the other blackbird to the you know like that and it was really sick and just so you so you don't get to the video off now like oh god he's using a FAMAS later on I pick up a sniper and I get a nice little eight streak or something with it so don't worry it gets amazing alright so glad I got all that out you guys know montage um, playing tonight there was one other thing I wanted to say no there wasn't <laughs> um, oh look at him he was inside the lamp he was so scared he was sitting inside the lamp um, I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of my nuketown strategy because I played a little bit different than most people do the the main thing that you'll see oh wait post migration was right there so it didn't pick it up in theater, but I just restarted it. And look at this. Oh, tri 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 triple kill. But the main thing is that I always try to keep on moving. And whenever I keep on moving, that's normally when I'm most successful. Because if you get stationary, then, I mean, you're screwed. If you keep on moving to a different spot each time, picking out a different window, then you can look at me. I'm constantly turning. Oh, this is kind of nice. This doesn't really even need any commentary. It speaks for itself. <laughs> Not being cocky or anything, but you're about to witness Zerg Grizz in the flesh. I mean, look at this. I pick up this variable zoom sniper. I'm like, alright, alright. Oh. Might have to just use this for the rest of my Nuketown experience because, well, it's it's going to work out pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Although I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm just average. That's why you don't use the R60 right there. Um, oh. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys about is that tomorrow I'm going to upload a video of the, where I was like defending a headquarters on Nuketown with a sniper and I get like a freaking like 15 streak or something. I'll upload that and I'll put like music in the background to make it cool. But look at this. This is not Black Ops. This is like some other game. Alright, granted the other team was not very good, but I mean still. Still. Oh, this is bad. This is the only flaw. That should have, the last one should have hit him. Not that one, but the one before. Um... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not the best sniper. And right here, after I uh, get this double kill, I think I I skip a large part of the gameplay. And the reason I did that was just because 
I mean, it's a long game, and I, I can't really talk for a bajillion hours like I know you guys would want me to. But this is going to go down as a pretty sweet gameplay. I, I think I got about six good streaks of about ten kills in this. And, and I mean, it's just a lot of fun to play. And I thought I'd show, share it with you guys because it was pretty nice. My teammates were doing well. I did well. I had a lot of kill streaks and team kill streaks. Look, I can't even call my last Blackbird. Uh, my final score in the game was, I think, 66 and 7. All gun kills. No real lethal kill streaks in that game. Please be sure to rate and comment the video. And I hope you guys all play with me tonight. Peace.